Hey everybody, it's Chad here from CNR Reviews. Uh, this is video is going to be more of just a demonstration to show you guys how to take apart the bolt uh, with the, from the AR-15 uh, platform. Uh, when I initially bought this gun, and I have a Bushmaster M4A3, I had actually purchased it used from somebody who put about 500 rounds through it. And when I took it apart, I noticed the guy never cleaned the bolt. And I'm assuming he did not know how to take it apart. So we just want to demonstrate this for you so that way you're educated. You uh, and, and some of you guys are in, from the military or whatever, I know you guys already know how to do this. Um, this so is watch, who, who watch some know. of our other vids right now instead of watching this one if you already <laughs> so, know how to do it. But um, when you buy one of these ARs, from what I noticed is there's not a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to take it apart. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. Um, the bolt simply comes out when you take apart the gun. You just It's, it's actually attached to the... Uh, to the lever here, the charging lever, and you go ahead and pull it out, the bolt comes out. Uh, the first step that you want to do is you want to go ahead and pull out this pin. I like to use just a little um, Allen wrench. And so, I mean, this is a really small one. You want to get in here and you want to pull the pin out. And it should pop out pretty easy. And there's the pin. So don't let that deter you. That's pretty simple. It looks more complicated than it is. After that, you want to get the firing pin out. And the firing pin should just fall right out. And there's your firing pin, guys. Um, this is going to be the dirtiest part of, of this of this bolt carrier. Uh, even if you go and shoot 20 rounds, this thing is absolutely filthy. You really want to keep it nice and greased um, or, or lubed up. And so it should have a little bit of lube. You don't want to over lube this stuff. When you over lube it and it's just wet as can be, a lot of guys run their guns real wet, all that does is accumulate a lot of dirt and you're going to get a lot more of the of the, the carbon and stuff coming back. I'd really recommend doing a light coating of it. And then if you start having malfunctions, you can add a little bit if, you, if that's the case. But I run this, not dry, lightly coated with lube, have yet to have a malfunction. Now, if you guys are running into a spot that is it just really picks up a lot of friction and you're using a ton of oil, Remember, there's gun grease out there. There's some good gun grease. We use a synthetic gun grease called Tetra Tetra Gun. Yeah, Tetra, tetra Gun. Um, it's a white lubricant, and um, it, it works really, really well. Uh, it protects the parts really well. Okay, guys. So then, make sure when you're cleaning, you know this is where the gas tube comes in. This is this is where the the bolt actually goes into the barrel. And so, what you want to do here is. Go ahead and push that down. Did you get that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you want to twist this little knob right here. And it should twist. So it looks like that. Then go ahead and pull it out. If it doesn't quite pull out, flip it around, knock it out like that. And there you go. And you see that little hole in there? There's a little tiny hole. That's where your firing pin goes through. So there you go. You want to have that piece out. Remember to twist it and then uh, pull it out. And then this is the last part, and this just pulls out. Now this piece you want to lube really well, right? Yeah, you, 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 yeah. You want to make sure that it's just lubed up. Again, don't make it ridiculously, you know, where there's just lube dropping off of it. Um, I just have mine just lightly lubed. I don't know if you guys can see that. It just has a little sheen of grease or uh, of lube on there, and I'm using Hops number nine. Uh, it seems to work just perfect with this gun. And when you're cleaning this gun. Um, especially in this area, you want to make sure that you just clean this out really, really well. Uh, even if you have a little bore brush from like a, a pistol, take that in there and just scrub it out really good. Um, and it really takes out a lot of the, the crap that's left over. Um, but other than that, guys, that's the disassembly. If you, you could go further and remove this stuff, but I, I, this is the basic disassembly. And that's really all you need to do. To clean it. Yeah, to, to, to keep it clean. Like I said, the guy who had this gun before me never cleaned this gun. This bolt, when I removed it after 600 rounds, it was absolutely caked in filth. Um, and he had told me, well, yeah, I had a malfunction, just one. But as far as I'm concerned, that's one too many. You really want to make sure that if, you, if, if it's as simple as just taking it apart and cleaning it, it does not take much time. So let's go ahead and put this thing back together. And if you don't know how to do it, go to your local gun shop. Go, you know, watch our YouTube video. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that, like, there, there are people out there that can teach you how to take apart your different parts of your guns. Yeah. Ask us a question. If we know how to do it or if we know about that weapon, we will try to help you. Now, this is the hole where this bolt fits inside. So you want to make sure that when you put this in, 
You line it up so there's the hole in there. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, unfortunately. Move it like, there you go. So there you go, there's where the hole is. You can kind of see the hole in there, guys. You can kind of see the towel through it. So You want to take the little uh, <clears throat> holder for the, the bolt. You want to stick it in. How you took it out was like that. <clears throat> then you want to twist it so that way you can stick the firing pin in. And there you go. You can either pull it out like that, it's ready to go. You want to go ahead and drop in the firing pin. And the firing pin, very simply, you can go from underneath or above. Uh, I like to go from underneath. Now again, that small part that you just put in, uh, mm -hmm. that's the part that goes into the barrel. That's right. So there you go, guys. There's your... So you, when, when you're putting your firing pin in, you want to make sure that you're actually dropping the pin side down, the part that's that is striking the primer, you want to put that down. Yeah, if it's not going in there and it's sticking out, you got it upside down. Yeah. Simple, stupid, just pay attention. Um, there's the little area where the hammer is going to strike the firing pin. You know, you can see that. And then the last step, again, is just replacing the, this last pin, and you just stick it in there. It's ready to go. It just snaps right in there. It's that simple. So now what everything is locked in here, Firing pin's not going to fall out, and it's ready to go. And so just make sure that you test it. If the firing pin's sticking out like that, that's okay. It's locked in there. Make sure that you guys test it before you, you fully uh, you know, go back to the range. It's okay to dry fire the weapon. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in my Bushmaster, and we'll do that. Um, get this guy to go in. Okay, gun's ready to be fired. Go ahead and charge the weapon. And there we go. As far as I know, everything's working fine. Now, if the gun was to malfunction out on the range, um, and let's say you're having some problems with the bolt uh, sticking, or maybe it's not quite loading, a lot of times it's not the bolt, it's the magazine. So just be aware of that, guys. And again, if you feel that you need more lube on there, you can go ahead and lube up the gun um, you know, however you want. You can run it wet we've seen a couple of our buddies run their guns wet as hell and i i don't recommend it because you are going to gather more of that carbon and crap that, and if you have a bunch of oil inside your barrel when you're shooting uh you have a you have a bigger chance of um getting some fireballs coming out of there too so yeah so i, I mean it's not it's not a huge deal but you know like i said um a lot of people attribute a lot of the malfunctions to the guys not cleaning their guns and i'd say that yes there is some of that um, but make sure that you just lightly lube your weapon. It's very simple. If you guys have any questions, you need any help with uh, how to take it apart, um, th that is really the main part of this gun that you really need to make sure you keep clean, along with lubing that inside railing where that bolt is traveling. Um, and uh, you just lightly do it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, again, feel free to, uh, to let us know.